Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Enjoying this wonderful pizza from Slice on Broadway. The people in Pittsburgh that provide good pizza to podcasters. And Jesus wept, for there were no more worlds to conquer. I'm walking. I am walking. Hello, Internet. Today is March 3rd, 2015, and this is the Rambling Movie Minute, where we talk movies, TVs, things that we watch on screens in front of our faces, like on a box like that. I'm Lango, at Rambling Mango, and as usual, we have Sorga Sorgatron Media. I like to take my iPhone and a couple iPads, and I kind of strap them around my face. That way I can get a couple things done at a time. I like that. Keeps it nice and circulated. Our New York connection. How's it going, Mad Mike? I've been trying to get Netflix on this thing for years, oh, and geez. it still doesn't work. <laughs> I thought I keep just typing in Netflix and nothing. So many keys and no touch. That's that's wow. I can't believe you still have that. You've you've had that phone as long as I've known you. I know. That's crazy. That that's because I've always phone. had an iPod or an iPad. Mm. Wow. That's that's. That's that's almost as good as the person that had the the original iPhone up until like a last year that I knew. Anyways, sorry. <laughs> and also in studio, the lovely only other female voice that you hear, <laughs> Ashley. What up? How's it going? How are you? I'm good. I am good. So let's wa- let's talk trailers. Yes. Do it. So I am a fan of Community, mm-hmm. and. Then Community got tossed out by NBC because NBC is stupid. And Yahoo was like, we will save the day. And this is what was produced. There are some funny things in this trailer. But oh my gosh, this is the last time we will see Community. That's my prediction. Well, I I, I kind of hope so because I mean I feel like this is this this can't go any further at this point. They're going balls to the wall in this thing. Um, they they brought in the guy from They Live and uh, countless other movies that I can get straight from, to DVD. Um, <laughs> it's uh, it, 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 it's it's making fun of itself, which is community, and um, I'm in. You know. Now I have a question. Um. As someone who has never seen Community, the um, inmates on Segways, is that a normal thing? No, that's new. That's no, new. That's, yeah, that's new. That's new. I mean, notice, I mean, they, they are really saying on this one, um, um, this is the Yahoo years or something like that. And you see that with all the technology-based stuff that they have on here. You know, you have the Segways, iPad Segways. You have a... Uh, which is a real thing, by the way. There's a student like back home in Mercer County that's apparently was injured in a car accident and is going to school via the Segway on an iPad or iPad on a Segway. Um, that is very easily stealable. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, no, no. Well, okay, maybe the iPad, but not the Segway. Those things are heavy. Okay. Uh, Has anyone ever been on, been on a Segway? No. I have not either. I, I can't. I want to pay the money to do the Segway tour in uh, Pittsburgh. Oh, but yeah. I live in Pittsburgh, so that's weird. Yeah. So, you have to sword, do it somewhere sword, awesome. You should not do it around there. No? It does not work well on hills. Well, they just do downtown. <laughs> it's just like across a bridge. Yeah. I think it only stays in downtown. Anyways, community. My <laughs> issue with this is um, I don't know how to watch Yahoo Video on my TV. Like, I don't know if it has an app on Amazon Prime. I don't know if it has a Chromecast app. Um, is it on Xbox? I might really have to go back to playing loud Xbox for this one, but um, but now I'm gonna look for it and I'm gonna figure that out because we're gonna watch Community because we've watched all the seasons and and we really like it around here in the Sorg household. Do you think they release this this like Netflix style, or do you think this is gonna be a week to week come back to Yahoo so you can watch? get absorbed into other stuff i feel like it's going to be weekly i don't think you yahoo yahoo wants you to keep coming back i mean and, and they're not selling it it's oh good. they're just giving it away for free i think so i think this is it's just on their network and they'll have their commercials and everything i think yeah. i haven't heard anything else uh anything else about it so that's what i heard it was this is like their attempt into getting into that streaming service type stuff mm-hmm. like their hulu 
I don't know. Eh, it's just weird. Anyway, I, let's I, joke. I, but I'm uh, glad. I'm glad it survived. And uh, and 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 if Yahoo is another one that's going to pick up shows like this and maybe invent some new things, maybe in the next couple of years they're the ones doing the House of Cards and the uh, Transparent. You know, that's the only reason why I'm not totally bashing it because you never just know what what could happen. Websites are the new channels. That's there true, you know. too. That's very true. It's true. Uh, this week in box office. I would not say this was a strong weekend, um, but Will Smith pulled out a win with Focus, mm-hmm. pulling in like $18.6 million. Uh, Yeah. Fifty Shades of Grey dropped to number four, and the Lazarus Effect just barely lost out to Fifty Shades of Grey with uh, like 10 Roughly ten million. Um, I wanted to see Focus. I I took some people that live with me, that are from foreign countries, to the movie theater this weekend, and I was like, "What movie could I possibly show them that just will not distract? Like that will just be easy to absorb?" Mm-hmm. And for some reason, we did not see SpongeBob and we did not see Focus. We saw a really really. Oh, bad. I, I I think so, I think bring it. Foreign minded people to a SpongeBob movie is a really bad idea. I feel like, though, like the English would be simpler. I don't know. Um, no, not for this I mean, one. I, I, I think if you were looking for a movie like that, it probably should have been Hot Tub Time Machine. That's true, <laughs> yeah. too. That's true, too. <laughs> Everyone um, understands fart jokes. Or just for fun, just take them to American Sniper. <laughs> or Fifty Shades. Somebody one one of the guys wanted to see the sniper. I'm like, no, that's way too depressing, and I don't know how I feel about taking you to a movie. Like I, that. Can, can can I ask what what foreign descent they're from? Uh, the one that wanted to to see sniper was from Thailand. Okay, you might be okay there. Yeah. <laughs> so the one thing, that, the reason I well, I like Will Smith. I will continue until he produces something. Yeah, I won't go that way. But yes, I... <laughs> you mean after Earth? Yeah. Okay. I like Will Smith. And I was hoping that... I think this movie, I'm hoping, is something along the lines of the Thomas Crown Affair. And that's why I'm excited. Like, I want to see this movie. Mm-hmm. Um, do you guys still have no interest in seeing this movie? <laughs> not not on the theater side, no. but I'm interested. I'm actually... Have a, there's a tech angle on it. Um, apparently, this is the first film that was... Uh, the first major film that was actually... Uh, edited with Final Cut Pro X, so which is uh, for those on that side that that's a, that's kind of a it's been a few years since that big reboot of that uh, editing software, so that's kind of pretty cool. <laughs> People are still using Final Cut. I think that's I'm more interested funny. to see Will Smith's movie later this year, Concussion. It was actually filmed in Pittsburgh hmm. about the NFL. I think that's supposed to be his oh. his big one this year. Yeah. Well, yeah. he's also got a Suicide Squad coming out next year. That's why. That's the next Will Smith I'm. I'm really ready for. Mm. It's going to be the big super geek out summer blockbuster one, probably. Mm-hmm. So I hope he makes a comeback. I like Will Smith. I really. I think he has a lot of good qualities as an actor. So it's a shame that he's lost that over the past few years. With some really bad, poor uh, yeah. movie decisions. Which I don't know how that happened. How did that happen? Yeah. Somebody explain it to me, please. We can Man. only make so many Men in Black movies. He stopped fighting aliens. Yeah. No, I mean, no. It, it just de- yeah it depends. I mean, yeah. If it was a District Nine type thing, that would be different. You have to stop fighting stupid aliens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I, w- I was going to segue into stupid shows, but these shows aren't stupid. So, spinoff. The idea of doing a spinoff for Flash and Arrow. I I don't know why we're doing this. But I guess there's enough of behind these movies to warrant them doing it. Go CW. I have a theory. Yeah. I have a theory on why they're doing this. Because the people that they've announced for the spinoff, they've announced Brandon Routh as the Adam. They've announced, um, I think his name is Wentworth Miller, who plays Captain Cold. Mm -hmm. They've announced the actress who played Sarah Lance on Arrow who is, spoiler alert, dead. Um, what? Oh, no, he's not cut up. It says it, it says it in the article. Uh, and they, I think 
that at the end of this season of Flash, there is going to be some radical shift in the Flash and Arrow universes. I believe they are going to do something like Flashpoint, where where it will change everything for season two of Flash, season four of Arrow, and introduce this spinoff no. with the Atom. No, I, Sorg, I you think, think so because guess whole... what else is coming out next year? Supergirl. Mm-hmm. Supergirl. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I think that's where they're going with this because in uh, the comic series Flashpoint, Captain Cold, who's normally a villain is now Citizen Cold, and he's a cop. I really, I think, I think that's what they might be doing with this, and I'm oh, super excited wow. about it. Wow, that's, that's, that's out of, outside the box that you would go, like, that far with mm-hmm. something like this? That's awesome. I, I hope so. I, well, kind of. I don't know. Well, if it happens, you heard it here first. And it all ends up being the Gotham universe in the long run, and everybody's connected. And then, uh, then Mike Sword, will be happy. Shut your mouth. <laughs> shut your goddamn mouth, Sword. Oh, that would be <laughs> awesome. Um, all right. quick. Two other quick stories that came from uh, this uh, Ron Tomatoes article. Uh, the Walking Dead. Ashley, do you watch The Walking Dead? I've seen episodes, but I never really got into it, which is surprising because I love zombies. So oh, I, I yeah, don't know, yeah. but it's just... It's, I don't know. Never have. Just a few, and then that was it. I have not caught up on this latest half season since the return. I they're sitting there in my Amazon queue, just waiting. Yeah. I, but I'm I'm gonna take a Sunday and just blast through all of them. Well, I need to do that too. If you get to the finale, lock out a whole hour and a half Woo! for their for their finale this March 29th. That is crazy. That's movie time. They're they're really you... trying to cross promote against WrestleMania. Is that the same day? Same day. What are they doing? <laughs> so this is the season finale, not the series finale, right? Yeah, season finale. Okay, okay. No, this thing isn't going to be ending anytime mm. soon. Wow. Um, awesome. Yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, even if they kill off everybody on the show, which I think they slowly, slowly, slowly are, um, they can just really kind of throw in other characters at this point. So, which, sure, you know, it makes sense for, for this kind of universe. So, um, the last story I wanted to jump on is, how do you guys feel about a DuckTales and Woo! Gadget? Oh, somebody's happy. Back? Somebody's no, happy. No, no, no Malengo. Hold on, Malengo. It is an international rule. <laughs> After you say the name DuckTales, <laughs> you mm-hmm. have to pause. Exactly. You have to pause for someone mm-hmm. to go, Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I uh, actually DuckTales. I'm kind of ex- excited about. Mm-hmm. I don't know about Inspector Gadget. I feel like every reincarnation they've done hasn't been great. This yeah, I'm excited good. for Inspector well, Gadget. Okay, so so the Inspector Gadget is going to be a Netflix exclusive, and it's going to be CG. If I'm not under- right, did I read that right? Yeah, okay. that's what I saw. And DuckTales is actually going to be on uh, Disney XT in 2017. Um, which I don't know. I don't know because those are so classic to me, and I don't know if a reboot will work for me. Um, I don't know. It depends on the kind of the nature of it. But um, Inspector Gadget is going to have Tara Strong in it, my favorite voice actress. So I'm at least going to give it a shot. Mm-hmm. She's going to be playing Penny. So wow. Also, she's famous for being uh, Harley Quinn in the Batman's. Uh, or in the- Harley Quinn and Batgirl and in the Powerpuff Girls and, and a whole bunch My of Little stuff. Pony and. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she's Twilight Sparkle, so yes, big time. Any brony, any bronies out there? You know, you might want. To... Right. They're out there. <laughs> They're out there. I know they are. Chachi. Anyways, uh, no, <laughs> I, I'm looking forward to see see what they develop this into to, to update it. So, I mean, I'm still playing the remastered uh, Ducktales NES game on Steam right now. So, <laughs> you know, I love Ducktales. You know, I'm gonna butcher the name of <laughs> the Matrix Brothers. So I'm just going to leave it at the Matrix Brothers. Wachowski. Yes. What Mad Mike said. Okay. (laughs) So I went to see Jupiter Ascending, and I read this article about how (laughs) producing bad movies like this is actually bad for the movie industry. Really? (laughs) What? (laughs) And water water is wet. (laughs) So making bad movies is bad for movies. (laughs) <laughs> That's such a revelation. Hot but takes from Malenga. Does that mean they're okay for us, or just bad for the movies? 
they're saying it like the the article was kind of funny because they were basing it up against other bad movies that came out that weekend and and like I guess flops Seventh Son and uh well SpongeBob did pretty good but they compared it to but yeah I I don't know I yes I I agree if you make bad movies we will not out to the theater. Well, I'm, I'm confused. Why is there so anything it? groundbreaking in this? I'm, I, I'm just going to say that the title is so revelatory. made a lot of money. <laughs> Transformers also had China backing it. So That's true, too. I wonder how many people were forced to go it's, watch I mean, it. Transformers at this point is just a giant robot kaiju film, so... <laughs> it is! <laughs> I really hope they go up against the emoticons in the next... <laughs> oh, don't tell! Don't tell Hasbro marketing about one. Optimus Prime versus Poop Emoticon. <laughs> wow. We digress. All right, please, <laughs> so, please digress away. <laughs> <laughs> Who put in this? Uh, did I put in the Spider Man? No, I I put that, that one in. Um, Talk Spider Man. Apparently, uh, there is going. They uh, Marvel has. Uh, selected their writer and director for uh, the new Spider-Man trilogy, mm-hmm. apparently. Because we need uh, It's Drew Goddard, who worked on World War Z, Lost, uh, the Daredevil series that's coming out to Netflix. And they've released a couple of um, potential like uh, plot, uh, plot points about it. They're saying that they're not going to do a new origin story. Yay. Um, they're saying that Spider-Man's going to be specifically based in high school, which we knew. Uh, they want to kind of have it do like a trilogy thing so that they can keep him in high school, like kind of like Harry Potter, which is a great thing. Um, and from what the rumors are going, uh, part of the first movie is going to be Spider-Man fighting Iron Man to try and join the Avengers as an audition. I'm in. <laughs> yep. If, if even half of that is true... Are we, I'm already in. Are we still along the lines of the the rumors that it's going to be Miles Morales on this one? I That's think what I've you heard. could do either one. Which, for those that don't know, it's a kind of the alternative universe of uh, Spider-Man for Ultimate. Uh, go listen to Panel Riot about that, actually. He just read the uh, first few issues of the Miles Morales Ultimate Spider-Man over there at PanelRiot.com uh, and has some really good uh, thoughts on that. Um, which, you know, is uh, well, he's a, a, a black Cuban uh, mix uh, in the comics, so I mean, it, you know, it's it, you know, it was that was a big thing. It was like, hey, you know, it's uh, going to be a diversity character. Yeah, it's a diversity character. They get to do something different with that, and we're not, yay, another, another Peter White Parker, superior. yay, yeah. you know, and, and that's kind of cool, you know. And maybe they could write something and, like, hey, this guy disappeared, so now there's a Spider-Man or something like that. And kinda. plus, if it was Miles, then Marvel would beat DC to the punch of having like a major African American superhero. Which one is DC having? They're gonna have cyborg, cyborg. Okay, because yeah. Will, Will Smith's actually playing a villain. Te- uh, yeah, Will Smith's playing Deadshot. I mean, technically it's Suicide Squad, but yeah. yeah. Although actually, so Marvel's so gonna kind be of anti-heroes. Actually, Marvel's being all of them to the punch with Fantastic Four. Oh, but, actually, it's true. Yeah, but well, then that's Fox. But yeah, yeah, that's and Fox. actually, I forgot. There's going to be the Black Panther too. So yeah, so they're already there. <laughs> yeah, they're they're all over that. You know, of the movies that uh, the director is credited for having his hands on, I don't see how any of these really get me excited about where Spider-Man's going. These are all good movies. Uh, you know, I don't even go by any of that, because half the directors that have done Marvel movies have not done anything similar at all. Half of them are, like, indie directors. Yeah. And I mean, this guy Coast. worked on Law, Like, he wrote for Lost and Alias, and he wrote for Marvel already. With uh, the Daredevil series, so yeah. I mean, he's already steeped in the world, kind of. It's just a bigger role. Uh, the last story I thought was interesting was uh, Sharknado. Uh, <laughs> sure, Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban has a role. No, he's going to be the president. Uh, I think he's going to be the president. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And, uh, and that just goes to show there's no shame. Isn't Ann Coulter like the first lady or something? Oh, you got to be kidding me. No, I read it. Hold on, I gotta find out. Wait, I'm googling it now. Coulter's in it. Wow. Um, wait. Um, also, um, professional wrestler Chris Jericho is going to be in it. Of course he is. <laughs> Somebody else was supposed to be the vice president. Hold on, 
I'm looking it up. But anyways, but that, that that's not the story. Other oh, than that, it's, it's happening. Of vice president Jerry that's Springer. Oh, jeez. Jerry Springer is not it. And yes, Ann Coulter. <laughs> Our Cuban, Cuban Coulter, 2016, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Cuban Coulter. <laughs> Ann Cutler is also going to be. Yeah, How do you Ann pronounce Cutler's your last name? Everyone's well. saying it differently. I oh, said good. Cut- you said Cutler. Cutler. <laughs> I said oh, no, I said man. Coulter. Yeah, it's it's Col- it's Coulter because Cutler is a horrible quarterback. Um, <laughs> we also have the least remembered member of NSYNC is going to be in it, so that's going to be good. Which one was that? Chris Kirkpatrick. Chris? Uh, Chris? I think he's yeah. the one from Pittsburgh. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> you guys know this movie's not going to get made, right? No, the, um, NATO is getting made. Of course it's getting made. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Sharknado, not- <clears throat> Sharknado 2 was a masterpiece. <laughs> I, I'll be honest, I'm, I've never seen either one of them. Oh, uh, do it. I, at least, should, the, at least should the first I, one's on Netflix. You have to. Yes, I have Just to. Just get some waste. popcorn, oh. lower your expectations, okay. and have a good time. I have to waste four hours of my life? Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, yes. It's more like three-ish, probably. Okay, I can yeah. deal with three, it's, as long as it's like, not four. It's for the good uh, of the podcast. Uh, that's true. This is research. You can write it off. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that. I can Besides, do that. Besides, have you ever once seen Tara Reid act horribly and not with Jason Biggs? Because this is the movie for you. <laughs> Wow. I went to a Sharknado party once without the Sharknado movie there. Even huh. though, yeah, it was huh. weird. Did people dress Fun up like shark theme? No, or? But it, it did have a shark theme to it, but I actually thought the movie was going to be playing, and it wasn't, <laughs> so I was very disappointed. <laughs> so <laughs> Expectations I know. blown. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, well, <laughs> I, I like the way our conversation went completely down a different road. <laughs> Basically, it's not even the story. <laughs> people are striking. People are upset about something on, Sh- on Sharknado 3. That's the story. Let's move on. Too many shark deaths. Moving on. Damn. Damn shark looks fake. Moving on. Um, I, I don't Wait, even know well, anymore. Those are fake sharks? <laughs> <laughs> um... Wow. I yes, pizza, pizza. I love pizza. You like pizza. Pizza's gonna be really good for you to order and sit down for your three hours of Sharknado mm-hmm. catch up, Ashley. Right, mm-hmm. right. Yep. There you go. You know and it. Uh, you know, I know you're, you're at least in the neighborhood here Tuesdays. You can pick one up on the way home from Slice on Broadway at sliceonbroadway.com. Um, supporting good b- podcasting with pizza in Pittsburgh, uh, right here in the Beachview area of. Of Pittsburgh, as well as uh, uh, their newer location over in Carnegie, PA, on, down on Main Street. Good, fresh, awesome oh, ingredients so from scratch. Oh, so awesome. Look at that. I want pizza. It's throwing me so off diet right now. Um, but uh, <laughs> And yes, we're working on that. I, I, we, we did ask about, I know they were just featured on KDK. I didn't get to catch it. Um, I think last night um, I did, and I, and I t- asked them if they were they're they're perfecting the drone delivery system. I didn't get a clear answer on that, but we'll keep pressing them for that so we can get something to you, Mike. Okay. Phew! Thank God, because I had it once, Sorg, and it has almost left my taste buds at this point. It's all, it's I've I've kept it there because I I don't know if you know this. I can control my taste buds. I've kept it <coughs> on Broadway as long. As I possibly can on my taste buds, if I need mm. again. So. Mm. Yep. Sorry, mm. I forgot to mute my cough. There. That's okay. That's okay. We're just talking about some good pizza, Malenga. <laughs> you can apologize to Slice on Broadway at sliceonbroadway.com, <laughs> Twitter at pgh underscore slice, and look at her slice on Broadway on Yum. Facebook and Instagram to make you hungry at all times of the day. Back to you, Malengo. Hey, look, it's back on me, and I'm going to swing it right back to Mad Mike because I want to know what he watched. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I wasn't expecting god, this. Um, Best reaction. Ever. I actually, I didn't get to watch uh, many movies this week, oh. but I did get to see Last Man on Earth. Ah, oh, I wanted to see that. Oh. How good is it? Is it good? Um, it was interesting. <laughs> um, I'm not sure exactly what I expected from it. Were you expecting the uh, that comic book? The, Why the Last uh, Man? Yeah. No, I was not expecting that. It's Will Arnett. I'm not expecting Will Arnett to be the last <laughs> man. Um, I, I mean, he 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 bathes. He goes to a 
he fills up a pool of margarita. Oh my. And he salts the rim of a kiddie pool and drinks from a giant straw. <laughs> I'm not expecting why the last man. Um, <laughs> just to be clear. Yeah, just to be clear. Uh, but it's it's kind of it's an interesting show. I'm going to watch it again next week. Uh, I don't know exactly what the end game for this is. <laughs> um, Somebody else is alive. Well, the end. Um, no. All right. Uh, spoiler alert. That's the end of the first episode. Uh, <laughs> so technically, he is the last man on Earth. Oh, no. I was going to say, is- what about the last woman? I will not spoil who the this, last woman on Earth is. All right. Why the last man is it Ann- it's just it is not the comic book. Is it Ann no, Coder? It's, it's more like W H Y the last man. <laughs> is it Ann Coder <laughs> or Tara Tara Reed? Because that could be interesting. I'm not I'm not telling you who it is because I don't want to spoil that surprise. Mm-hmm. Uh but it, it's it's a decent show. It was fun. Mm-hmm. Um it was definitely better than the other new show I watched this week, which was The Odd Couple. Really? They did an the Odd original? Couple? Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, with Matthew Perry and Thomas Lennon. Um, I like oh. Matthew Perry. I like Thomas Lennon. I generally like sitcoms. <laughs> I did not like this. <laughs> it was, it wow. was it was really, really not not fun at all. Like, way over the top. It felt like it should be on ABC Family and not CBS. Wow. Yeah. And Matthew Perry, like, I know the whole gimmick is that um, Oscar is a slob, but Matthew Perry's looking a little rough. (laughs) (laughs) Poor Matthew Perry. It's it's like eighth season Friends Matthew Perry. Like, it's (laughs) not good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is Is this something that could get better? Potentially. Maybe I'm not sure. I would. Then again, I wouldn't be surprised if it was canceled right now. So, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Just like as soon nope. as this is over, yeah. it'll be canceled. Well, let's, nope. let's put it this way: if this was on NBC or ABC, it'd be gone. But because CBS is making boatloads of money off of everything else it's showing, yeah. they'll probably give it a season. This is true. Give it a chance. What about you, Ashley? What you watch? I saw Still Alice over the weekend. Oh, yeah, With my did. mother, by the way, which was actually a very bad move because I ended up totally depressed afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone else seen it here? Nope, uh, because I read the reviews and I was like, I don't want to be totally depressed it, this weekend. Uh, Julianne Moore <laughs> really earned that Oscar, man. I mean, she's she's stunning in it. So, first of all, she looks great for her age. I'm just throwing that out there. Secondly, um, yeah, she just plays this brilliant professor who all of a sudden develops early onset Alzheimer's. And like in little moments like this, She's she's fine, and then all of a sudden she just completely forgets where she's at, you know. And um, it, it's it, yeah, it's incredibly sad, and it's uh, it's just about how her and her family cope with it and everything. And she was a linguistics professor, so somebody who was so into language and who valued it so much ends up being reduced to infant babble by the end of it, essentially. Oh jeez. Yeah. So if you're looking yeah. to have you know something more serious. <laughs> on your, on... <laughs> You're looking to cry yourself. Uh, that's what I'm. Sleep. I'm good for. I mean, not so much the superhero. You need stuff, a good cry. The, uh, yeah, yeah. Watch I didn't cry movie. as much as I actually. I, I teared up maybe a little bit, but I thought I was going to end up leaving the theater bawling, and I didn't. But I, I, the only thing I would say is I don't really care for how the movie ends. It just, it just sort of ends, and I, I'm not going to spoil it just in case. She remembers else. everything. I mean, it's not like a huge twist or anything, but, you know. <laughs> it was a dream. I, it, well, it was no. a dream now, that would be really interesting. They could have done so much with this. No. But, yeah, I'm not going to say anything more, except that I was just a little disappointed. I was expecting more. Uh, Sorry. Another movie that you saw that I was very excited about, Whiplash. Whiplash, yeah. I, I actually saw that uh, you talk, you've talked about that before, haven't you? Yes. Okay. Sorry. I've enjoyed it many, many times. Oh man! I, do, do you like it? Do you I, enjoy it? I loved it. It was it was somewhat disturbing, but pretty intense. It was intense, absolutely. But I, I can't pinpoint whether or not he is a psycho or just a genius teacher, or both. I think it's both. I think it's both. Yeah, but, they, I would, but 
I would have quit that class. I would have been like, screw this. <laughs> but yeah, but I, I think at the end, you really understand what he was trying to do. And then he ends up doing it. I mean, he just wanted to find the right student to do it with. And I think he found it in him that he found his Charles Parker. So that's, I mean, that end scene with, with him playing is amazing. Yes. No, that, okay. that scene is amazing. Yeah. I wanted and to go play the drums after that, but I don't have any drums. So that didn't work I out. I downloaded a whole <laughs> bunch of jazz after that. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah. Where did that movie take place? Is it New Orleans or is it New York? I think it's supposed to be a fictional New York. Oh, okay. Or Chicago. Or a hybrid of different cities. Yeah. Metropolis. <laughs> they all end up in Metropolis. Yes. Suburbia. Yep. I was like looking up like where they like the, these fictional schools. I'm like, is that real? And I feel like a dork after. Yeah. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was a real school in there or not. I was. I didn't do. I didn't Google it. But uh, yes, I like it. I recommend it. Um, excellent performances. Yeah, it is in theaters right now because of the whole Oscar buzz. So if I've, you were interested in going and seeing that, go see it for matinee for five or six bucks. Recommend it. Sword. Yes. You saw. I saw Kingsman. Um, this is the most fun and violent thing I've seen at a theater in a long time. Like to the point where um, there's a certain scene where there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of death. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, to one point uh, where, you know, it's like hits the end of it. And there's just like a guy in like three rows in front of me. He's like, shit. <laughs> like, I, I, like, I've never had like that kind of reaction come out. And even like I'm watching this thing with like my mouth open. I'm like, this is like magical and horrid at the same time. Um, they really kind of hit a lot of lot of buttons on this one. Um, again, you can tell it's from the director of Wanted. Um, with the way some of the fight things fight scenes are, I like that the fight scenes are done in a way that it's not a flurry that I can't follow. Like say a Transformers movie, um, like even when it's fast paced, like it focuses on the right thing you need to at the point to know the important parts of it. Right? It's like speed yeah. reading a fight scene. Um, and there's a certain scene at the end that uh, Mikey fireworks factory. fireworks factory fireworks fireworks factory to the macho man theme just had me howling yeah. i told you it wasn't too much i and, and that's not even what's that i i it's not too much fireworks it's not man no man i think it is um i, I still think my two favorite scenes are the bar scene and the church scene yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, ironically, um, sorry, I forgot to mention this. That that I watched the church scene. Mm -hmm. Um, they kind of did the same thing on Agent Carter. Oh, huh. what? They, they kind of did a, a very similar. Scene oh yes, on... you. Know, I was thinking that too because they did the thing. I don't want to give it away, but uh, well, I guess we kind of have because if you've seen Agent Carter, you know the thing they do in a movie theater and the same as the church. So, but well, it, it, a just, lot it just makes people go insane. Yeah, like yeah. But yeah, it was really kind but of interesting. Samuel L. Jackson, um, um, uh, with his character, I'm not going to tell you much about that. Um, had, had, had you know was great the whole time. Um, a lot of homage to spy movies, like very, very upfront. We are making fun and 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 you know, you know, <laughs> talking about the the spy movies in this one. Um, so it was pretty cool. I, I have to it. check this out. It, it's it's fun. Yeah. Be ready. It was very different from the comic. <laughs> I, I can't wait to check out the comic. They uh, also uh, real quick, Legend of Korra. I actually started. Okay, probably about eight episodes in. I the final final season. Oh, no, I I just started it. Wait, you mean you just started watching I it? Just started watching Legend of Korra. Korra. Oh I gosh. just found it on my Amazon Prime. Like I got the first two seasons on there, and I was blasting through them this weekend. First episode had this. It was everything I love about anime, even though it's American. Um, Everything I loved about Avatar, it's got this interesting steampunk feel to it because it's it's you know you know some 60, 70 years uh, after Avatar, um, so like there's this like industrial revolution thing that's happening, but not kind of thing, um, and there was like jazz music to it, which felt very Cowboy Bebop to me. So it was like just everything I loved about good anime, even though it's not even anime. Um, yeah, very Legend of Korra will make you forget about that horrible movie that... Don't even... No, don't even... No, no, don't, don't even bring it up. Don't even bring it up, Malenko. There's, what? There's no movie. <laughs> I'm waiting for somebody to make an Avatar The Last Airbender movie. Period. Because <laughs> that wasn't it. 
Oh, man. Um, yes. I went and saw Jupiter Ascending, which should have been called Jupiter Descending. Descending? I'm just going to say, why <laughs> Why would you do this? Why? Why? Explain it to me. My wife was like, um... <laughs> Chad, yeah. don't, don't use the She's wife like, excuse. Wow. Chad, really throwing the blame. No, yeah. she actually didn't even go. This is the movie <laughs> I took the two... <laughs> guy she's, was like, she's like, why don't you oh. take your friends? Why yeah, she's take your friends. She knew better. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> the, the one guy was like, I want to see like a sci-fi thing. I'm like, okay, let me let me do this. It was so bad. Afterwards, I had to explain to them in English how bad it was and all the, the really <laughs> bad connections to things. It's like, please don't tell your people back home that this is representative of our culture. <laughs> yes. Uh, the sad thing is that uh, Mila Kunitz, who I would marry in a... No, I won't say that. Yes, I will say that. She's freaking amazing. She, um, she's on your list, the, right? Yeah, she was the only good thing about this movie. And the sad thing is she had, like... Yeah, her, she had the most speaking roles, which that... That's the only reason this movie even did anything. Chatham Tatum was just bad. This was bad. Hey, the one good note, though, this Eddie, I don't know how to say his last name, but the guy that just won an Oscar for The Theory of Everything. Eddie Redmayne. Hmm. He was the villain. Oh. Oh. That's the one good note, that that he was in it, and that connects the dots somehow. (laughs) Do not go see this movie. <laughs> <laughs> we won't. That's all I can say about that. Well, now right. you got me kind of curious as to how bad it is. It's going to be an HBO Netflix watch when I see it pop up. Just be like, it can't be that bad. Just like Cloud Atlas. It can't be that bad. <laughs> the way the movie ended was just an excuse to end the movie. Like, <laughs> if somebody had said, oh, yeah, the guys, the brothers that did The Matrix did this. And you had, that's all the reference you had? This would be a horrible lie. So Mila Kunis just hangs up the phone and Neo's on the other end? That, that, is that, how, is that yeah, how it works? Yeah. That would have been a better movie than this. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> oh, but anyway, yes. So enough of my negativity about bad, bad movies. Um, where can we find people? Where can we find you, Mad Mike? Uh, you can find me on the Twitter machine at MadMike4883. I'm also on the Wrestling Mayhem Show and many other podcasts surrounding the Storytime Media Network. Nice. Ashley Ashley got a Twitter. Twitter, yes. Twitter. And she's got a very artsy shot because that camera keeps moving for some reason <laughs> after I set it up. Uh, yeah, I am now on Twitter. So everyone, please follow me at Don't Mace with me. <laughs> <laughs> that's a play off your last name i got that and i asked my mom for feedback and she's like she liked it so as long as my mom's okay with it we're good we're good <laughs> it was that or call me Ishley, which i was telling them earlier mm-hmm. <laughs> trying to play off the name <laughs> <laughs> i live in a very dirty mind uh sorry <laughs> Someone's going to have to explain that to me after we go off air. <laughs> uh, I'm at Sorgatron.com, MikeSorgatron.com, SorgatronMedia.com. So many things going. You mentioned sitcoms earlier. I got to see a theater sitcom over the weekend. Actually, film it. Uh, we're going to be putting that together help them out a little bit. The No Name Players, uh, NoNamePlayers.org. Go check that out if you're in the Pittsburgh area. At the awesome Arcade Comedy Theater. It's an arcade! They have machines in the... They have like I've a, been there. It's, it's all, I love awesome. It I, I love, love that there. place. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, all kinds of fun stuff going on there. Yay. Cool. And you can find me at Rambling Mango. And, uh, also you could check us out on our Facebook group page, uh, the Rambling Movie Minute. Um, and yeah, hopefully, uh, by, yeah, actually by the end of this week, uh, we should have the site, Mike, I think, Sorg. We should have it totally going. I know oh? you're kind of like. Oh yeah. I, I know oh, I'm what? Really? Really? Is yeah, that we it? should have. We should have everything. We have a website. Today. They're not just going to go to the YouTube and wing it. Yep. Yep. And then uh, also, I think 
uh, this weekend, I still have to, this is going to be news to Ashley too. Oh. I still have to, I think we're going to try and set up a uh, round table after Chappie. Yeah. So yes. we should have that uh, hopefully for next week. And then I will start, I know if you, if you know anything about movie drafts, I am going to start filming some stuff on that. So stay tuned. This will be a very busy next week for awesome. me and stuff. But yeah, that's it for this week's Rambling Movie Minute. And until next week, have a rambling movie weekend. Yay! This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Let's talk tech. Tech news discussions from the people in the industry right here in Pittsburgh. Online, gadgets, startups, and more. Check it out at awesomecast.net.